Right, so uh, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I'm no longer at university. I'm not at home because it's Christmas and I, I've come home at Christmas. Like I'm not going to spend the entire Christmas by myself alone at university. So yeah, new setting. So today's video is going to be how you can do the slick back or well, the Patrick Bateman haircut anyways. So as you may know, I've been doing a series on TikTok uh, for finding my new hairstyle. Uh, this is the hairstyle that I like the most in the series I've done so far. I mean, the Patrick Bateman video got almost a million likes. A lot of you seem to like it too. So today we're going to do a tutorial on it or how you can do it anyways. Before you get into the tutorial itself, um, pros and cons, right? Because you need to know whether it's going to be good for you. So the pros are, if you've got very long hair like myself, I mean, I can literally eat my hair if I can get it straight. But that it's a great way of keeping your hair out of your eyes. Like you don't have to deal with the hair in your face. Also, the other benefit is that you don't look about 12 because I mean, Curtains, in my opinion, can make you look very young. Same with the fringe. So it's just a nice alternative to keep your hair out of your face. Another benefit is that it doesn't like really sway towards one particular face shape. I and mean, maybe if you've got a round face shape, I might avoid it, especially if you're gonna get an undercut around the side. Also, it doesn't really matter what your hairline looks like. Like if you have quite a big forehead, it can also look pretty good. Like, and if you've got a receding hairline, again, can look really good. If you've got thinning hair, it's a really good way of disclosing the thinning hair rather than doing the classic thing of trying to grow it forward and cover your forehead. However, although the cons of this hairstyle are quite minimal, the main one is that people quite often get this hairstyle wrong. They add way too much wax, way too much product in it, and then it looks like really solid and really slick back and it just doesn't look particularly good. So hopefully in this video, I'll show you a way that A, is flexible. It looks natural. I mean, I do tend to think my hair looks quite natural and also stays like this all day so you don't have to worry about going out and then it falling apart. Also something else I know something that I found is that this hairstyle only kind of really works if you've got longer hair. So if you do really want this hairstyle maybe let your hair grow a little bit first because you might look a little bit silly. Anyways I'm gonna go wash my hair and then we'll get into this tutorial so yeah. So we're out of the shower and the first thing that we're gonna do is gonna apply this hair oil and this hair oil is just really good for A protecting your hair from heat of the hair dryer so it doesn't like dry your hair out and also more importantly it relaxes your hair and makes it easier to shape. So we're just gonna apply a tiny little bit of this into the hair and scrunch it around. Very nice. Also by the way any products I use will be linked below if you want to check them out. And from here you now blow dry your hair backwards. Also new hair dryer. <laughs> Very nice, I know. So the one thing to note with when blow drying your hair for this particular hairstyle is that it isn't a straight slick back. So the Patrick Bateman hairstyle is kind of, it kind of has like a parting, just I would say that slits his eyebrow about here. And that's kind of what we're gonna look to find when we blow dry our hair. Anyway, so you'll take your blow dryer and simply blow dry your hair back. Now, as you can see, what we're trying to do is develop that parting just above the eyebrow. And to do that, you simply take the brush, place it in the middle of your eyebrow and then follow your hair all the way back to the back of your head, like so. And then from the other side, you then take your brush and follow that up the side of your head and push it back there as well. And from here, you should develop that side parting and then you just simply are going to work that in whilst blow drying your hair. One thing to note, by the way, is if you do want your hair to stay in place all day, you need to make sure your hair is completely dry when you've finished. It just simply means that your hair is set. So as you can now see, the top is now done, and to simply just get the sides as Patrick Bateman would, you simply just need to push the hair back and pat it down, and it takes the volume out of it quite quickly. And at this point, you probably could leave your hair like this, like it does look quite good. However, the hold isn't that good. So to complete the look and get that hold and shine that Patrick Bateman has, we're going to be using this deluxe pomade from Uppercut, and we are simply going to use no more than this. Like You don't need any more products in your hair than this, and that's what's great about it. And from this point, I'm not trying to like massage it into the hair or anything, or try and create any texture. I'm simply brushing over the tops of the hair to keep it in place. And then from the sides, I kind of push down onto the scalp and push it back again to create that sort of mullety look that Patrick Bateman has. And depending on if you want slightly more volume on top, you can just push the back a little bit and it creates that little bit more puffy bit on top so yeah. and yeah that is kind of the final result i mean look do i look like patrick Bader now no he has black hair and he's actually tanned i mean like i'm very pale anyways look i hope you found this tutorial helpful and you have taken some points from it if there's anything more that you need clarifying please let me know in the comments and i will try and answer you and help you out other than that please make sure you drop a like and be really helpful for the channel um, and finally please make sure you like subscribe check out my other vlogs and yeah have a lovely day